Hi everyone, uh, this is Autopostrophe, and uh, we're going to take a look at Rise of the Term Raider. Uh, it's on sale uh, at the uh, Steam store for uh, what I think is a reasonable price, finally. Uh, so uh, let's check it out. Uh, the opening options uh, when you first execute uh, Tomb Raider uh, allow you to change the uh, anti-aliasing options, uh, your resolution, uh, whether or not you have full screen or exclusive full screen, and uh, your V-Sync options if you want to double buffer, double buffer or triple buffer. Uh, so I chose double buffering. I turned off all of the, the uh, anti-aliasing options and uh, set myself at full HD. So uh, let's take a look at the options inside the game. Hold on here. Okay, that's a little better. Um, so what have we got here? We've got difficulty Tomb Raider. Aim assist is disabled. Enemies have normal health and damage. Interesting enough, that's actually... <laughs> it tells you all the... Uh, <laughs> it tells you all the uh, difficulty settings, but you can't change it! Uh, yeah, so screw you, apparently. Um, online features. Yeah, how about we not care about that? Broadcast frame... No, no, thanks. Reduce camera shaking. On, yes. The first uh, remake of Tomb Raider uh, had an incredible amount of camera shake. Uh, I mean, uh, for a camera that actually doesn't exist uh, to shake that much during even normal gameplay when Laura was walking around, it, would, it actually drove me to the point where I stopped playing. <laughs> So uh, uh, hopefully this actually means, when it says reduce camera shaking, it really does mean it. Or maybe it just shakes like to the point where it looks like your teeth are shattered, <laughs> getting shattered every every minute. Uh, yeah, who knows? Uh, we're going to turn the subtitles on. On with color, without color. Um, I guess we'll turn it on with color. We'll go ahead and increase the brightness since we're broadcasting. Um, let's go ahead and turn on DX12. Uh, let's see here. And then we have uh, full HD at 60 hertz. Can I put it at 59? No, I can't. Yeah, just checking. Uh, you do have the option of playing in Stereoscopic 3D. Uh, unfortunately, of course, that doesn't really work all that well on Twitch. Although I do love to play uh, in 3D. Uh, that's actually why I uh, picked up the... Yeah, sure. That's why I picked up the uh, software option for the NVIDIA uh, 3D vision. Okay, texture quality high. High, sun soft, ambient occlusion, depth of field, go screw yourself. Level of details high, speed space reflections, sure. Tesselization, sure. Uh huh, uh huh. Bloom, yeah. Again, go screw yourself. Motion blur, yeah, go fuck off. It's a 30, 60, 60 frames. Let's see, vignette blur. Uh, disable, disabling prevents the edges of the screen from being blurred for cinematic effect. Yeah, let's disable it. Pure hair. Uh-huh. Screen effects, film grain. Yeah. Go eat a dick. It's not a piece of film, it's a game. In high resolution. <laughs> Why you want to ape film effects? The worst thing is, you know, when uh, they make these games, they ape film effects, but then they... It seems like they only... You know, try to, like, copy porno. It's... <laughs> It's all these porno angles, crappy porno lighting, crappy porno film grain, crappy
crappy porno chromatic aberration. It's like, do you watch anything other than porno, guys? I, you know, there are real films out there that actually look good, which you apparently don't want to copy. Oh, here we get to select it. Yeah, that's uh, hilarious. Let's look for, let's go for adventure, uh, because I am not good at games. Uh, but you probably already know that. What makes someone reach beyond the boundaries of human experience? Death. To face the unknown. Mm, also death. As children, we question the world around us. Not really. We learn, we accept, and gradually we lose our capacity for wonder. Oh no, I wonder what that big spot is on my Some testicles. Yeah. The explorers, the seekers of truth. It is these pioneers who define the future of mankind. Hmm, I guess. I think I call them assholes normally. The others, they're done. No amount of money is going to get them through those mountains. The lost city's up there, somewhere. That's gonna be a hell of a part. I'm not turning back. I know. You should stay here with them. Yes, Black Jonah Hill. Not a chance. What is Laura in this game now? What is she like, uh, 11 or something? <laughs> Was she like 15 in the last game? That must make her like 8 now. It's like they try to get younger and younger with her. You're almost there. Wait till you see this view, Lara. Take my hand. Thanks. Yeah, it's a mountain. Yeah. Look at that. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it looks like a rock with snow. Coming off those peaks is a bad sign. Yeah, it means there's wind, I guess. The trail leads up the mountain. We'll have a good view of the valley beyond from the summit. All right. Let's take it easy here. This wind is crazy. We just need to keep moving. Hey, even if we don't find anything up here, your dad would be proud. I know, but I have a good feeling about this. <laughs> oh, shit! You okay? Lost my footing. I'm fine. Yeah, ask us know how it feels. Once again, the porno angle. But she's like super young, so I, I don't know why they're going for all the porno angles. Oh, can I jump? Uh, should I lead with the uh, axe? Do you, do you think that would help things? Gotcha. Oh, now you're both screwed. Shit, Laura. You're gonna give me a heart attack. Are you okay? Yeah. Come on. <sighs> Looks like we gotta go through. Still a lot of camera bouncing. Are you freaking serious? Idiots. <laughs> Not bad. If the weather turns, we can hold up in this cave. Do you really think we'll find this lost city? I know this is a long shot. 
But that old tracker said he saw ruins up in these mountains. Well, I guess if I was going to hide a lost city, this might be the kind of godforsaken place that I'd do it. I just hope Trinity hasn't beaten us to it. Uh, you know, it's likely that uh, when this last city was built, it wasn't a godforsaken place. It was probably like lush and tropical. Ah, uh, but whatever. We have a couple hours at most. Should be enough time. We're almost to the top. What do you think? We're close to something, Jonah. I can feel it. Just as last stretch to the top. Let's see what's up there. Yeah, we gotta make sure you're able to make another 21 Jump Street. Feels pretty solid, but keep close to the wall. Okay. Woohoo, shake your camera. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we climb from here. Keep your eyes open for falling ice. Heaven forbid in 2017. Let's do it. Oh, sorry, 2016. Oh, oh, okay, well. Well, did we really want to see another 21 Jump Street? I think I did everybody a favor. Okay. Looks like we climb from here. Keep your eyes open for falling ice. I like how we've spent so much time advancing graphics and resolution, adding particles and physics, uh, but we can't keep the camera from shaking. <laughs> Because we're mimicking uh, physical techniques, uh, which are just the active effects of being in a physical in a physical environment. Really, if you ask like uh, most documentary filmmakers whether or not they uh, like all the camera shake. Uh, they'll probably tell you no. <laughs> no, no. The camera shake was just there because uh, I'm not a robot and can't hold my hand still. Yeah, why not? Let's try it. Yeah. Ah! Holy shit! I don't think I can make that jump. Uh, we're attached, dude. That's right. You have to hit the X button. Ow. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, we're probably going to see every way that Laura can die in my playthrough, so, you know. Oh, it's Dark Souls. Jonah, we made it. I see the ruins. Oh, God. Well, I made it. Yeah, don't mind the uh, extra inertia on your body, which might make you die. Thanks, though. It's okay, you'll be fine. Oh, 
Ah, let's outrun an avalanche. It can happen. Oh, that's a pretty boulder move, huh? Hot stuff. <laughs> I swear I hit the button, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> Fuck you, camera shake. It's a goddamn game! There's no camera! Oh, this uh, mimics the experience of playing the new SSX. something which seems like a good idea, and then ends up not being very good at all. Two weeks earlier, okay. Why didn't we start here? <laughs> oh, whatever. A lone seven-year-old wanders the streets of London. It is the greatest cruelty of life that we're all too swiftly What do we leave behind? Bones? Dust? What of the soul? Does it endure beyond our earthly existence? Mm, no, pretty sure it doesn't. I believe it does. A, a truth lies at the heart of many myths and stories. A truth not of science, but something more profound. Of course. The key to unlocking everlasting life. I may have found the next piece to the puzzle, but I'm not alone in this search. They're following me, watching my every step. I know them by name now. Trinity. An ancient, violent sect with designs on controlling the future of humanity. I must proceed carefully for the sake of my family. If anything were to ever happen to Lara or Anna, I could never forgive myself. Oh, well, I guess you can't forgive yourself then, jerk. I didn't know several year olds could have flats by themselves. Mm -hmm. Cool. I wonder if she'd be like five in the next adventure. <laughs> the previous adventures, previous to the previous adventures that we made. We can't think of anything new. <laughs> Let's just fill in the backstory, since that's not canon anywhere. Oh, it's me. Hannah. Oh God, I'm so sorry. What are you doing here? I saw the gutter press was attacking you again. I thought you could use some company. No lies. Were you followed? Followed? Of course not. What's going on? I think I thought it too. 
Oh, you can't be serious. Gotta read it. Of the prophet is real. Dad was right. Lara, your father was unwell. No, he was close to a great discovery, tangible evidence of the immortal soul. I loved Richard. I would have married him if he'd asked. But he was a broken man. I don't want to see you end up like him. Anna, he was right. It was everyone else who was wrong. Tombs in Syria. Syria? Oh God, Laura, no. This is madness. Yeah, how can you afford it? Get your life sorted. Go home to the manor. You know I can't go back there. But this obsession ruined your father. Something I... I can't explain. Now I understand what Dad was going through. Ah, oh, craziness does run in the family. Fairy tales. Nonsense. Don't go down this road. You know where it leads. It's the only thing that makes sense to me now. I'm going to find the prophets too. What's this now? One week later, or what? Hey, we're heading into a war zone now. We better be sure about this. We're close. There should be an oasis in the canyon just ahead. You're wasting your time. There's nothing out here. Just keep driving, please. Yeah, snake. It's your money. One, didn't you? They, they paid better than you. You both. Yeah. Damn, this room. Shit, they weren't supposed to shoot at us. Get us out of here. Shit, shit. No, no, no. Uh, it's only hit the driver. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, Boyd. There was something in Dad's research about this. It was said the Prophet's tomb was hidden in the cliffs above one of the forgotten cities. Legend speaks of an oasis where the Prophet was laid to rest. Sewage pipe. Could this really be it? No, nah, looks like where the place where poop comes out. But uh, let's go inside. Like dead space?
Oh, okay. In case you don't know where to go. Yeah. Okay, he's shown here performing healing miracles. Dad's notes mentioned this. Mm-hmm. You know all the three mural descriptions to increase language skills. through the desert, to the oasis. Translate the monolith, okay. Oh boy, my translation to Greek. I just had to read three things and, you know, I just got better at Greek. Still no sign of Uh, player beacons. Mark any map item in the player beacon. Player beacon icons, or player beacon appears in the world, has a blue shaft of light when using survival instincts. we need to find. I just read the one side, apparently. That was enough, I guess. Mm hmm ancient coins. Gotta pay for this trip somehow. It's actually the foundation to the entire place, but let's go ahead and destroy it. <clears throat> Could possibly go wrong. It's only been holding steady for thousands of years. Uh, jump to the wall and uh, jump to the wall and A to scramble. Scramble mid jump along flat walls. Sometimes. <laughs> you just have to be clairvoyant as to know when to do it. I say the same thing on my dates. Damn 
damn it. Come on. Oh, yeah. What are you hanging around for? I don't know. I don't know why it's a different button. Just why not, huh? There was a battle here. Armed soldiers against religious pilgrims. The Order of Trinity. The prophet slain by the Order of Trinity. Huh, so much for a prophet, yeah. Uh, he was, huh? My son. The Order of Trinity has received word that the prophet's followers are building a great tomb at an oasis outside Berea. But more upsetting, while we thought they were building the tomb for their prophet, Trinity now believes he still lives. We have learned he is preaching his heresy among the local citizens. Drawing more to him daily with his tales of how he conquered death. He is a liar and a heretic, claiming miracles that come only from the divine. You swore he was dead. Have you failed us? Well, he looked dead. I mean. Ah, yeah, we stabbed him and he didn't move. We just assumed he was dead. Yeah, what, what, what more do you want from us? Damn it. That was too close. I'm not sure why I'd waste a bullet on it, but yeah, whatever. You know, I can't be carrying a whole lot of ammo in this outfit. I also say that on my dates. Not, we just flooded the only way out. Seems like a good idea. <laughs> really? It releases your foot? <laughs> oh, okay, I was about to say. Ah, we didn't get you, but uh, yeah, we'll let you go. He's actually not there. You're more like a crazy person when you talk to somebody that isn't there. Ah, oh, hey, nothing to chop chop. I guess we need some sort of flotation device. Uh, besides my boobs. Hmm. 
Man, give me a chance to explore first before you nag me about using your hintometer. Wow, my clothes got dry fast. You see that? Yeah, where can I get? But uh, I still have that blood stain for. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hope the neighbors don't mind. Oh, it's very insulting to, uh, yeah. Imply that uh, I'm really heavy. Yeah, uh, the girl's very sensitive about that sort of thing. No, oh, close. Oop, huh? Oh. Ho -ho. around here. Mm -hmm. My lord, what you say is impossible. I myself drove a spear into the prophet's heart. I saw him die. Doubtless his people have propped another man up in the slain prophet's robe to continue his lies. They are broken discredited and exiled we will head south and put the rest of his people to the sword but the prophet is dead this i swear oh, something else here Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. Oh, let's just get whatever was down there. No, guess not. I ride at the head of a small army of the faithful, armed and ready. And I have good news. We have located the tomb of the Prophet. We were attacked by madmen upon the road, wearing the Prophet's livery, but they were easily bested. We allowed one to flee, and followed him back to the Oasis. Whether the Prophet escaped death, 
Or whether another now wears his mantle, it does not matter. All will perish inside, and it will become a tomb at last. Yeah, I hope nobody raids it. I mean, they could, they could start a franchise. Some light reflecting off the stone. My lord, the last remnant of the prophet's followers have barricaded themselves inside his tomb. We have made camp at the entrance, and we are preparing to break through their barricade. I saw the man claiming to be the prophet before they sealed the gates. And I admit, he bears a striking resemblance. But it could not be. No matter. They will all be dead before sunrise. The Order of Trinity will see that his heresy ends here. How about his Hershey, though? Oh, I can now travel. I'm trying to say, level 2 Greek! I didn't realize they rated the language in levels like that. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Not worth my little. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, it's a time limit, damn it. All right, let's see how long uh, her pants stay wet. Oh no, I can't do the double jump. Oh, it goes right back there. <laughs> Can I... What? Am I stuck? Oh, ho. Game glitch. This game's been out for a while <laughs> already. Uh, thought everything would just be in working order. I guess can't expect such things. If I could just set something on there.
Yeah, it didn't really seem like a great idea. Oh, stuck in the sewage system. I don't know. He was just sitting right there. Empty. It's empty. No. No. What did I miss? Hey, down here. Well, don't set them while I'm still in here, you idiots. Oh, you should not beat off so much. Open it. Careful. Why are you in the back of your hand, though? That's weird. Extremely dangerous. <laughs> yeah. This looks very dangerous. You go first. Oh, the Prophet's really young. Who the hell are you? You're a smart woman. I suspect you already know. Trinity. Where is the artifact? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play games with me. You led us to this place. Look, it was empty when I got here. There was no body and definitely no artifact. Do you just look at my crotch? Because that's super rude. Ah, so much for, you know, preserving this archaeological find. trying to, but I have to hold left shift to move, and it's super uncomfortable. That's a thing. This. I'm sure they make mayonnaise there. Oh wait, that's their cousin craft. Sort of. But I was followed. What? By who? They call themselves Trinity. They tried to kill me. It's more like the Prophet's rubble now. What the hell is going on here? 
They're starting to scare me. The tomb was empty. I think they were looking for the divine source. The, the artifact your father was after? There's more. I found this symbol in the tomb. I knew I'd seen it before. It was driving me insane. That's when it hit me. I saw it here, in one of Dad's books. And not the internet? Listen to this. The lost city of Katesh said to have disappeared in Siberia sometime in the 12th century. Legend says that on the eve of the invasion by the Mongol horde, it sunk beneath a lake. What does this have to do with the Prophet's artifact? The same symbol. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> if the divine source is hidden in the ruins of Katesh, waiting to be found, then I have to go. To Siberia? Are you kidding me? Just think. If this thing could really unlock the secret of immortality, it would... it would change everything. Sickness, suffering, death, gone. Well, not suffering. Are you listening to yourself? Jonah, we've been through so much together. You know there's more out there. This could be real. I don't care if it's real. I've lost too many friends. I don't want to lose you too. Dad never made the connection to Gatash. He gave up everything for this. Including you. Stop blaming yourself for what happened. He made his own bed. I can't give up on him. Not now. It's all I have. No, it isn't. If you stayed still for five minutes, maybe you'd see that. Oh, that like careful research. Yeah. Shit, Laura. What are we gonna do? I led them to it, Jonah. If the divine source is real, we've got to find it first. Siberia it is, then. Oh, he was easy to convince. But look where it got you. Why? That doesn't make any sense. Got to find shelter. Uh, well, guess the script isn't winning any awards, huh? That's the best story. I need to do this alone. Why? Why would you need to do it alone? Move. 
Sentinel camp. Okay, gather resources, sure. Well, it doesn't really seem like a great camp. Uh, uh, whatever. Move, damn it. It's gonna be kind of hard to start a fire in this particular location too, with all that wind. Huh? But yeah, details. I suppose my parka, you know, doubles as a. Tent does it? I don't know. All for now, Fitz. So Change Loras' attire to best suit to her adventure. It wants to take me down. It wants me to just lie down and die. But I won't. I can't. There's something here. There must be, or Trinity wouldn't be in this snowy hell. I just hope that Jonah is okay. That he found a way back. I... I just couldn't risk having him with me. Not again. The pain of losing him, that would be too much to bear. This is my path, and mine alone. Uh, multiple outfits are available and are unlocked by progressing through the game and completing certain missions. Some outfits give gameplay benefits while worn. Switch outfits at base camp uh, by accessing the clothing category in the weapons menu. Let's see, uh-huh. Mm-hmm, yeah. Weapon switching. Switch between multiple weapons at this, of the same type using the weapons menu. Each weapon has unique stats and upgrades that provide a distinct combat feel. Whiteout jacket. Uh huh. What's this one? Expedition jacket. Whiteout jacket. Modern insulated winter coat in all white palette. Light coloring helps keep cool and blend in the snowy surroundings. Blue Henley. Blue long sleeve thermal shirt. Loose weave retains heat but allows for breathability. Leather jacket, gray hooded sweatshirt under a dark leather jacket, casual clothing for simple life. I guess I need a whiteout jacket. I carry all these outfits with me, really? Ammunition or equipment. Mm hmm. And just quiver. Oh, yeah, I don't have enough for anything. Yay! All right.
Okay, brawler, hunter, survivor, crafting and exploration abilities, hunting and scavenging abilities, hand-to-hand -hand combat and healing abilities. Hmm. What we got here? Thick skin, take less damage from enemy gunfire and melee attacks. Effect is cumulative with the heart of stone skill. Mm -hmm. Iron heart, take significantly less damage. Dodge counter, capacity armored enemies while dodging. Okay, well, I'm a survivor. Uh, rapid crafting. Uh, faster crafting of throwable objects and ammo when on the run. Enemies killed or knocked out from a crafted hand handheld object yield more XP. There we go. Uh, gain a chance to recover our arrows when lo looting enemies killed with a bow. Increase steady aim time on bow charge shots. Increase amount of ammunition looted from enemy corpses. Now uh, let's just go. Uh, take significantly less damage from explosions and fire, or. You know, sure, yeah. Explore the forest for signs of the lost city. Hmm. Right. Actually, that's a good place to stop it. Good. Anyway, this is Autopros 3. You've been watching Rise of the Tomb Raider. Uh, it's available on sale uh, for the uh, Steam Summer Sale, so you can get it uh, just for under $39 USD. Which I think is a fair price for this game. Um, 60 might have been pushing it, who knows. Uh, or maybe I'll feel differently at the end of the game when I want to finish it. Uh, who, who's to say? I should probably finish that first game, uh, although I have to, like... Constantly move my head to uh, match the shaking so it stays still for just, you know, more than a few seconds. <laughs> Idiotic developers, I swear. Uh, anyway, I hope you've uh, enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream.